So hey guys, we are at US Air Conditioning here in City of Industry, California. And I came for a VRF training class because they rep the Samsung line. And they ended up, uh, a guy came out and he says, listen Mike, I gotta tell you about RefTech. And I didn't understand what RefTech was and found out that it's actually a pipe bending system for the RefTech piping. Now, it, it's a pipe bending system that you can purchase. Uh, you get a hold of US Air Conditioning or a RefTech dealer, no matter where you live, and they can hook you up with the dealer and find out the cost to buy it. But let's say that you're running a VRF system and you want to put an elbow. How would you like to be able, instead of using a hard drawn long radius elbow, actually bend your own elbows? And then, or what if you wanted to bend an elbow uh, with a, a, actually a degree, maybe like a 45 degree elbow with a trap or goes over the top of a, a small, like maybe you're going over the top of the roof curb or something and you want to bend it instead of trying to fit it with multiple elbows. Well, that's what the RefTech system is. And on top of that, they have a braze ring. Now the braze ring, actually it says RefTech braze ring. You can see it there, it's silver solder and it drops down inside the socket. So when you're done with your connection, you'll, and we're going to show you, you're actually going to use a RefTech ref tubing expander and you're going to put this on the inside like your pipe on the inside so when you braze you know how a solder follows the heat it'll actually pull the, the braze ring up and it's a complete braze and it's ready to go and it's all from the guys at RefTech and so it's a great system I'm going to introduce you to Bruce here in a minute and he's a super cool guy and he's going to show it to you again this is RefTech now the RefTech system will not work with ACR uh, hard drawn ACR that you purchase at your supply house it's not designed for it so you have to buy the RefTech piping that uh, that they sell it's a complete system the piping uh, the tubing bender the tubing expander it's all a complete system to help you reduce the amount of welds that you have when you install a VRF system. It's, it's pretty darn cool. I think you're going to really like it. So I'm going to introduce you to Bruce. Um, I'm going to step out of the way and I'm going to show you how this, or actually Bruce is going to show you how it works. I've done it multiple times, but honestly, uh, Bruce is, uh, he's my bald brother. When you see him, don't be shocked. But, uh, and he's got, uh, he's got a beard going, the same beard. So when we stand next to each other, if we just like morph into one, like don't be shocked. Don't, you know, don't go, <gasps> You know, it's not going to be crazy. So, Bruce, come on in. All right. Thank you, Mike. There Appreciate you go. It. So, get a little closer there. Okay. So, so you see what um, we're doing here. So, you can see us both in here. I'm going to let Bruce tell you about it and how the system works. Okay. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, what we have is H55 copper. It's hard ACR, hard copper, type L, but it's been annealed one more time. So, instead of just letting it cool normally, they reheat it and make the final draw, calling it H55. So, you can look it up. And any of the, uh, so it's H55 and it's through RefTech. That's through the big Ref thing, right? Yeah. So they can't, they won't find H55 top copper anywhere else. anywhere else but through their RefTech dealer, yeah. correct? Yep. Okay. Exactly how it works. Same price. It's not at a premium copper. It's just better for bending. And it's designed for this. Exactly. That's the big thing. That's what they think. We want to make you know it's designed for this. So he's got a piece of pipe. And let's say that I want to make a 90 degree angle okay. or a 45 degree angle. Okay. And remember, these come in 19 foot sticks, so you can make multiple, multiple bins. You right. can go 90, 45, you can go up, you can go down, you can in any way you want. So if you have a 20 foot stick mm -hmm. and you want it to go across the rooftop and you come out of your VRF, out of your condensing unit, and you go across the roof and it's got to go up over a parapet, maybe over a curb, you can go. Now they have an app that you use, right? Yes. Easy to use with an app. And you, what is the app called? The, the app is a direct app. RefTech app, yep. so you'll find it in your app store. Yep. And, and what that does, you physically just draw it on the app, right. how many inches in, what kind of uh, bend you want, how many feet out, how many bends, what direction, you're going to go up, down, wherever you want to go. Right. And the app tells you exactly where to bend it. It tells, awesome. you, where, it tells you where to mark it, you line the mark up with this tool, and it'll tell you how many degrees to mark it. So it's done. foolproof. It is. Foolproof. It's Mike proof. It's idiot proof. It's me proof. Oh, okay. It's Bruce proof. Okay, <laughs> Both awesome. of us. <laughs> Both so, of us. Yeah, we'll show you this real quick. This is this to blow your mind how easy it is. This is a hard copper you couldn't normally bend, except that it's designed for that. So you can see right here. Yep. It's shiny. Eights. It's seven eighths. It's designed for it. It's through the ref tech. And you're just going to go ahead and bend this. Very simple. Just load it into the uh, jig. Okay. Get that way. You're going to put the block in, and he's going to put a holding like a bolt that holds it in place. Yep. So okay. we line it up, and normally you'd line up your your mark here, but we don't... So let's go a little bit shorter this way so we can do an offset on the same piece okay. of pipe. How about that? There you go. Okay. You dial in to the uh, computer 
the bend that you want. So I'm if we want to do a 90 degree bend. A 90 degree bend. So and so it. right here, you guys can't see it, but I'll take some photos of it. But right here on top, it actually has a digital display. And here, he'll turn this dial. What dial do you turn? Down here? Yep, you turn that dial to 90 degrees when it says 90 on the screen. And then you know you're set. So go ahead and do that. Again, you can go from 0 to 180. 0 to so 180. Knock crazy. yourself off all you want. Oh my any, God. Kind of, any kind of bend. Put it to forward. Pull the trigger. And it automatically stops. It automatically. I never took my hand off. So the you trigger. never take your hand off the trigger. Nope. And then you back it up just a hair, which loosens the jig a little bit more. Go ahead. Sure. Right. Loosens the jig, and away you go. Look at that. A beautiful long radius 90 with no braze in the middle of it. And then again, you would have that ring. Let me real quick. You have a braze ring that goes with it. We have our uh, one more. We have a braze ring that would go with it that would fit down the inside. We're going to show you the swage here in a second, but it's all part of it. So now where's the swage tool? This is your swage tool, Mike. Right. Oh, and this also it. is through the RevTech system. It, it comes as a system. Come part, it doesn't come with it? No, no, it's two separate items. Okay, so it's two both. separate. So make sure you guys understand, if you're looking at the RevTech and you've gotten a pipe bender, the uh, tubing expander will not come with the program. So we're going to go ahead and put this guy in. You ready? It automatically stops. Look at that. Isn't that perfect? It's beautiful. We're going to, oh, we can't do that in because it's damaged. But isn't that beautiful? So now when I'm done, and then when I want to braise it, is you're going to, now these rings are part of Ref Tech. Yes, that's The awesome. rings are part of Ref Tech. It'll go down on the inside. It'll go down on the inside, assuming I can do it because I'm all finger. There we go. It'll go down on the inside. You'll take your another piece of copper pipe. You put it to the top and you're ready to go. And as you braise and you start to braise and you put your heat to the socket side, you heat up the pipe as well, just like you would normally do. But this ring, the solder is going to start to flow up and then it'll completely cover uh, the socket and you'll be ready to go and you'll be left with a beautiful billet around the top. It's a fantastic. It's really cool. But this is part of the RevTech. Now we're going to take this piece of pipe right here and we're going to put an offset. So maybe you want to take this 90 that's here and then kick it off to the side to go in another direction. So instead of having a 45 or, a, or trying to make yeah. a 30 degree, you can bend it exactly as you want. Any way you want. So let's, let's put another kick into it. I'm going to go ahead and take this guy out. We're going to go ahead and give it to Bruce. He's stunning, isn't he? <laughs> stunning. One other thing you can uh, talk about, Mike. Yep. It's spring loaded so the cell phone doesn't come out. If you're oh. Down. So you guys hear that? So that it is. So it's spring loaded, or not spring loaded, but there's a spring piece in it, which is why I struggled a little bit. But now that the ring is on the inside, if you're doing a vertical run, it's not going to come out. Yep. Okay, so we'll let's see what you can do. How do you want to do it? I don't know. You tell me. Surprise me. All surprise right. me with a hard, let's surprise me with a degree that we would not normally do, Good. but that we can do. Maybe like a 27 or a 30 or, or we're trying to go around something. I might have enough. It's a pretty short piece. I might have enough for, a, let's say, a 10 maybe. A 10? Yeah, we'll try that. It's pretty short. Okay. We'll just see what happens. Can't hurt. Always Take over. Pull it out. Oh, but look, but check this out. Look at this. There's a slight kick to it. So if I had to come out right here on a unit and come out and then kick around something, make a slight, instead of having multiple, maybe double 90s or double 45s, and then saying, this is not really the angle I want, but I gotta live with it, you can actually fit it perfectly, there you go, perfectly to where you need to go. And that's all through RevTech. Do they have a website? Is it RevTech.com? Yes. yes. So it's RevTech.com, you can see it right there, R-E-F-T-E-E-K.com. T E K K dot com, ref tech. And look at that. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Now, prices vary. There's an approximate price to this. Am I okay to give? Yeah, you can do that. It's an approximate because it varies on it. So don't hold, don't walk into a guy, a dealer near you and go, Mike said, because they're going to say, we hate Mike. It's approximately $3,000 for the kit. Well, but if you're bender. plus bender, well, the bender's and, about three grand. Okay, so the bender's about three grand, and then obviously the tube expander is going to be a little more, but you can really check it out through RevTech. 
and find a dealer near you. But again, if you're doing hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of fittings and you're on a, on a school district or a hospital and you're putting in tons of VRF, it'll pay for itself in one job because you're not buying fittings and it's gonna speed up your time because instead of all the individual braces, you'll only have two, one at one end, one on the other, and you're gonna be able to fit everything in one shot. So this is a pretty cool system. Uh, again, it's reftech.com. It does large pipes too. And it does large pipe too. Check this out. What is this, like inch and three? Uh, this inch and a half? That's probably, that's probably one and three. It's one and three? Mm -hmm. So it does big, large size diameter pipe. What's the biggest that the die goes to? Right now it's, it's one and three eighths. One and three eighths. So yeah. you're not going to do two and an eighth. You're not going to do anything crazy over two and an eighth. But honestly, you're going to be able to do everything you need to do for almost every VRF system out there. So again, this is Bruce. Come on in, Bruce. Come on in, Bruce. Right, that's that's his hand. We got to get closer. Right. There you go. Okay. And so Bruce that's and I, brother, Bruce. Uh, we're exactly a different brother, Bruce. So um, and he again, he's a ref tech rep for U.S. Air Conditioning um, in in all the U.S. Air Conditioning branches. So they'll direct it to him. But if you have any questions, I'll put the website down below. So as always, work safe, be safe, be good humans. Uh, thanks to Bruce for coming by from U.S. Air Conditioning. And work safe, be safe. And like I said, be good humans. There's tons of crazy stuff going on in the world, and I don't want anything to happen to you. Until next time, we'll see you soon.